be with. Who made this? Who made this? Way too much flex, flex. not enough hustle. hustle. Things are working out. Yeah. I got it off the muscle. Yeah. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle, yeah. but now they looking. So, um, how do you feel about the Columbia mu music scene? Uh, in, in general, how do you feel about the Columbia music scene, and also how do you feel about the music scene in the Carolinas? Uh, cool. Columbia music scene, it's a, it's a lot of positivity in it. It's, it's unity in some places, and then there's a lot of negativity in the city as well. You feel me? You know, the main thing is that most people should focus on this. If you win the business, it's this business first. It's not about anything, you know. There is a show of favoritism when it comes to certain things, but it also is business relationship. It's not always just favoritism because some people are constant around each other as far as business wise that we don't see. And that's what it may seem as far as some form of favoritism. But if you on your grind and you do your thing and you learn in the business, some people ain't learning the business, you feel me? They just round people, you feel me? So Right. T tell me what you mean by that not learning the business. Like getting your music copyrighted and coded the proper way. Making sure you go check get your shit registered for sound scan and things like that. Uh making sure you, you would be a mind. Making sure you networking and going out to the, these DJ pools and these things to get your name spread. Making sure you, you got your, your uh social media together to where they can link and they can find you, your YouTube channel and all that. Understanding, you know, the rules of the game, you feel me? Because it's it's not always wins and none and no game. You feel me? You got to lose in order to win. You feel me? Okay. I know recently like we had the SC top twenty list that came out. Can you tell me how you felt about that list? Because everybody didn't like the list. Some people had problems with the list. Some people took it as motivation. But tell tell us how Buck Fifty feels. Well, when I saw the list, I mean, like naturally as an artist, you know, I mean, I already knew, but I just really saw the uproar first. You know, then I went and checked it out. You feel me? And just what I learned in the last couple of years is people are under certain people's radars. If you ain't moving and they're not seeing you then they not gone put you in a certain position, a certain category. Because if you're just promoting in your neighborhood and at your house, and these people are out of town and all these places and they doing business, these people doing, I, I researched and I Googled, I'm a, I knew the majority of the list, some of them as far as the 803 people, you feel me? And I saw what they did, and I know why some over, several of them over the years, you feel me? They, they deserve to be there, you feel me? And just like they said on top of SE page, if, you, if, I'm, if you're not under my radar, how can I see you? Some people got their pages private, basically because y'all don't want your lady seeing what you're doing or your man seeing what you're doing. You got to put yourself in the public eye to be seen because this is business. Like, it's people get nominated for awards and they lose. You think it's going to stop them from what they're doing now. You got to go hard. And at the same time, it's, it's in a local market. They're trying to build something so we can be noticed. This is something that we've been asking for for years. Somebody finally created it. Why be pessimistic about it? Figure out what the criteria is and step your game up. Move in motion. I ain't cried at all. I've said in the crib, planning any day. I, don't, I lose sleep when my lady tell you. That's all I do. Word. That's what's up, man. Yeah, that list, man, I, I kind of felt like in the beginning, I was like, it wasn't needed. But then, like you, like you said, you researched it. I researched it, too. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I know another list came out. Somebody came out with a list that by, had, by, by, area yeah, code. by area code. And that thing, that was dope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, I had an interview uh, recently, and mm -hmm. we, we talked about that topic, and it was like, you know, they researched it, I researched it, and I know right. you said you researched it. Why are these other artists not researching it? You upset because you're not on the list, or you don't know these people on the list? Like, how you don't know these people right. that you've been rapping 10 years, and right. I know I know more majority of people right. came from different area right. codes, and I'm not a rapper. It's because you know they, they don't research. They only care about themselves, and who their favorites are, who they right. think should blow. You feel me? Who they watching? They don't know it's this entire state. We can't just watch what's going on in your city. Exactly. If it's far as we trying to create a Carolina culture. Exactly. I mean, and I loved it. I liked it when they made it the one to let you know based by area code. Because, once again, it's now giving an eye on 
who who would watch an artist in our state when you didn't even know who when you when you asked a who a black Zach was or who a so and so was and every people on them that's online really didn't know. Now they know. You feel me? A lot of people already know who some people was, but now they know even further, like, oh man, yeah, so bro gotta be grinding that he on the top. Let me check him out. You feel me? Shout she on there. Oh, let me check her out. That's what it should have been, you feel me? And that's what they doing. They showing y'all who we got now. If you got features with them, you working at your home, boy, promote your people, you feel me? Promote them, you feel me? Work with them. So if they, if they watching them, guess what? If you work with them, bing, they gonna see you too. Yo, you got a possibility of getting put on the prize page. But we need to be trying to move further than him. They trying to make sure we get seen so when the people come here looking for us, they know who to look for. You feel right. me? Right. But imagine coming to a town and you come and try to get artists but you don't know who to look for, cause they ain't telling you who the artist is. Nobody promote you. Remember, the last couple years, everybody saying nobody support artists, nobody care about artists. Everybody creating the culture now to follow somebody, to follow us, what we do. Respect that. Right. So you think that that was just basically one of the main missing pieces, like yeah. culture. You know what I'm saying? Having yeah. people out here really grinding, putting right. on, and putting out content out right. there. Right. It's a statue. Yeah. They just like you, you watch ESPN. Yeah, it's a stat sheet. Yeah, all the teams on the league don't make it over ESPN, cup. Exactly. But you see them at the beginning of the season to see who they gonna play against. You feel me? Exactly. That's yeah. something matter. You feel me? Hell yeah, man. So, what you got going on, man? For like anything out of state? Uh, I got a little obstacle. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna cut cool obstacle out the way. Then okay, I'm in a face. You feel me? I'm in a face. Uh, if I got kids, cab, Uber, whatever, boat, surfboard, jump out the plane with parachute. Be just trying to pull up word. Cause it's more than here, y'all. Word. That's the goal. Start here and move further. They looking for us. They looking at us. But they want to see us come in their neighborhood and show them we can do in their neighborhood. Don't just do it in your neighborhood. So you got time. Word. So man, for people that want to get in contact with you for features, you know, maybe sit down, get in the studio, collab with you, because I know you down to collab, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. And, and get in the studio and grind it out. So I ain't got to worry about that. Anybody right. that's seeing this video, y'all need to go ahead and hit them up. So drop your social media, man. Tell them where they can find your work at. All right, on Twitter, Instagram, and Gmail is B-U-C-K, the number five, I-F-T-Y, 803. It's Buck 50, 803. That's how you find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Gmail. And that's my Snapchat. I barely be on there. I'm trying to get right with the Snapchat. On Facebook, it's James Ellis. Or you can find me, my artist page, Book 50, B U C K, the number five by F T Y. I also have a Snakes and Gators page. Snakes and Gators all together. The last S is a dollar sign. Snakes, the and sign, Gators, dollar sign. That's how you find me on Facebook. Instagram book fifty eight oh three, Twitter book fifty eight oh three. I'm on Twitter and Instagram a lot. I'm on Facebook. Hey there, everybody know that. You inbox me, hit me up. I'll be ready to work whenever you're ready to work. Let's let's do this. Buck man, appreciate you, man, for linking up with DME TV for this interview, man. Appreciate your time, bro. Already. All right. Peace. Never know what's in the duffel. Way too much flex, not enough hustle. Things are working out. I got it off the muscle. Just a year ago, I was knee deep in the struggle. But now they looking, cause they never know what's in the duffel.